is Mr. Harun Tinga. I am a representative, I am the secretary of the Pyrethram, former Pyrethram Board of Kenya Pensions. Out of what we have gone through today by feasting our former colleagues who are here, I want to make a, a final appeal this time around to the government that our people are really suffering. Some, most of them have died. We have lost more than 57 members. Jina zangu kamili naitwa Ferdinand Kisiangani Wanjala. Mugaji wa Njoro. Nilikuwa mfanyikazi wa Pyrethrum Board kuanzia 1985. Nilifanya na board kwa njia ile mzuri, nilikafanyia board mzuri nikiwa na nguvu. Up to the year 2009 nikawa retrenched. Wakati nimekuwa retrenched, hakuna pesa yote yenye tulipatiwa. Nimepitia shida mingi kafika mahali hata mabibi wakanitoroka kwa sababu si kwa na inika 2017 kwa sababu ya hiyo mashida zote nikapata pressure nika niletea stroke hata bila unaniona mkono hii siwezi nikabeba kwa sababu nafsi hata asifanyi kazi nimejaribu kuenda sibitali ikafika mahali nikakosa pesa hile nilikosa pesa sasa mambo yangu ikaishia tu hapo mpaka saa hii Na hata sijindi, hii nitapona siku gani kwa sababu sina hii nikamu. Hata pesa ya kuenda sipitali sina. So ni naomba tu serikali Kwa kasi yenye tulikuwa tumefanyia pa Rethram Board. Watukumbuke. Asa president wetu, William Samoy Ruto, atukumbuke. Wakati kutulikuwa rituengi 2009, alikuwa minister wa Akrikacha. Na anaelewa hii problem yetu, sa hii ni president wetu. So ni na, na ya kwamba atatusaidia tupata hii pesa kwa haraka. Our beloved president William Ruto, who is now the president, we were retrenched when you were the minister for agriculture in 2009. And you know, since that time we have never been paid. Now you are the president. Please do the honorable thing. Because even the Bible says, when you don't do justice to the common people, you are doing injustice, that injustice to, to God. Our people have died. Some of them have died for the diseases that they could have been treated. Now, Mr. President, please make a determination because this matter is now within the cabinet to see that our people have been paid their money so that they can enjoy the remaining years, although some of them are hearing. My brother, I'm in an oil caribou is linking me on the tattoo. Now, you pesa and you get part of you pesa and I mean you get this idea kwa kiafia at last in Jidibu. Na nafikiri afya yangu inaweza ikarudi vile ilikuwa samani. Mainazi hii pesa sioni vile nita nitasaidika. Miaka sahi niko na 61 years. Kama sipati hii pesa wakati huu itanisaidia wakati gani? Ninaomba serikali itukumbuke ili nipate hii miaka yenye nimebaki nayo. Karibu niende miaka ya bonus 70. Nimebaki na miaka 9. Hii itanisaidia kiwango wakati gani? Inaomba serikali itukumbuke ili pesa nikipata inisaidie mimi na hata watoto wangu. Um, Robert Suma, I used to work with the Patriotum Board of Kenya. Then I retired in 2001. After, after reaching retirement age, I was on pension payment until the scheme got mismanaged and we stopped being paid in 2011. I think my, the money they owe me right now may be about three, three million and I will take I am in to step in and see how much they can help us because I know many of our members have really passed on. And this thing, I, this thing is not is not forthcoming. I think the government should try figure figure it out and see how they can pay pay us because the money that is is outstanding to to to, to, to on board. 
It's about, it, it, we left when it was about two, 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 two billion. So if, if they add on an, an, an calculated interest and so forth, it may come to about three, three, three billion. Okay. Mildred Omwega, uh, last born to the late Shadrach Omwega, who used to work at Pyrethrum. Uh, my dad passed away when I was around six, seven years old. So since then, school has been actually the community raised me and chipped in whenever I needed to go to school. But mom had to do most of the work and she was a housewife. So she did not have a permanent employment. So it's been through farm and women groups to acquire loans so that she could take me to school. And I cleared in 2019 from Lake Kipia University. I did a communication course, but I haven't been lucky enough to get employment. I appeal to the government of Dr. William Samoy Ruto to help us get the pension money paid, because even the, the house that we are living in right now, it's on the balance because we might lose it at any minute and me without employment and my siblings also not really stabilized yet. We are worried about what will happen to our mother because this has been our home for over two decades. Kwa majina naitwa Julian Keruba Nyachia Shadrack. Mimi ni mujane. Mse wangu alikuwa anaitwa Shadrack Nyachio Omwega. Alikuwa anafanya kazi na Byredra Board kama maintainers. Pension nilipata kidogo ikafika ikasimama. Nimekuwa na changamoto ya kulea watoto, Crispin, Jerry, Mildred. Nimepitia changamoto nyingi. Nagoita, pesa ile inaitachika ni 8,000. Ndiyo niweze kupata matibabu. Sina NHF kwa sababu niliogopa kwa sababu inataka ulipe hiyo NHF monthly na 500. Hiyo ndiyo sina. Mtoto Mildred aliweza kuenda la ekipi ya university na akamaliza. Na pesa yenye nilichukua kumsomesa ndiyo nimeingia madeni. Sasa naomba serikali kwa sababu pesa huyo mtoto hakusoma na pesa ya baba yake. Pesa iko kwa mikono ya ya serikali. Huyo mtoto amegoncheka na Alsas. Simemukura, simemukura paka niliangalia hiyo picha wakati alifanya scan paka nikaogopa. Huyo mtoto hako hapa ana kazi amegoncheka kwa sababu ya shida ile tuko nayo. Because of the stroke when cutting expenses, expenses of the medicines of about uh, between 400 and 600 every day. And it's not, it's, it's a, a huge task to have being helped by my daughter abroad. But it would have been better if they were relieved of this sort of thing. If I got payment of or my whole outstanding pension. Yes, without uh, any, any sort of income, uh, my health has been affected because the livelihood is not there. You can't get something to, to, rely, to, to rely on. And uh, without any, any, any sort of income, it is not easy to stay in Kenya now because everything is money. Sasa ni naomba serikali iweze kunisaidia kwa sababu mahali ninakaa hapa pipeline nilinunua tulinunua proti lakini hiyo proti sasa nimepeana title kwa sababu ya watoto. Ninaweza tolewa hapa wakati wowote. Sasa hii proti ndio nilikuwa nalea nao watoto kwa sababu maisha nyumbani singeweza sasa ninaomba serikali ya wira muruto waweza kutusaidia kama wajane tunaangaika hapa na watoto mimi ni mgonjwa ninaomba hiyo pesa iweze kutoka iweze kunisaidia niko na madeni yenye nilisomesa nayo watoto nikachukua maloni mpaka taito nimeipeana kwa sababu wameniangaisa sana ninaomba serikali iweze kutushughulikia